our veteran dog class. Are you going to talk to Ralph about opening up this? No, I do it. They know I do it. Okay, our veterans are champion mock operas always smacking. A T comma W D A reader A. M-I-E-L-D -E by Champion Cerise, Prince of Wales, and Champion Mock. Wow, impressed. Aubrey's unforgettable. The second dog in there, of course, is Grand Champion Cerise Blindside. Dottie Cherry, breeder, owner, and handled by Howard Huber. And then the third veteran in there is Grand Champion. Put the camera around. This is our first veteran on the table, champion Mock Aubrey's Always Smacking. Our second veteran with Howard Huber will be Grand Champion Cerise Blindside. In that dog's day, of course, he was the number one springer in the country. Actually, he was the Winky winner for sporting group wins in one year and the number one sporting dog. And then the third. Um, veteran in line is Grand Champion Full Moon and Twin Oaks. The Eagle has lived. As promised, I will babysit the camera. Our lunch is out. I'd like to thank Carol Hamilton yesterday for helping me put lunch out. Judy Manley came over today. She helped me put out the lunch. Thank you, Judy. Everybody's pitched in. Mary Osborne has pitched in every single day and helped me with trophies. Big thumbs up. Everybody has helped me. And three or four other people that have just pitched in at the end of the night. They see me the last one here. They come over. Can I lift the box? Can I help you in any way? This has been a dream team weekend. You made it. Did you see Puggies? Did you get some Freighter's business cards? But that's a dream that you have to get some really just because it's all this. And just the whole respiratory system. But you know, you gotta replace a pug with a pug. Pugs are one of those breeds that if you love a pug, that's your breed friend. Same thing with springers. Not all breeds are like that, but what pugs are. Because they have this they have this quirky personality. They do and you just yeah. And it just yeah, they do. And and they're just fabulous. But the breeders have to be careful where they go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just a, any of these pushed in, you know, breeds that the Frenchies, they have to be so careful because if people aren't careful with those breeds. Yeah. I mean, you know, we all started with the Siberian wolf. Every breed of dog in the world comes from the Siberian wolf system. Bully mammoths were going extinct. The Siberian wolf started to become symbiotic you know, with man, and they became so tremendously useful for all, even in hunting, you know, right, um, that they just, wherever man migrated all over the earth, they took the dogs with them and started to breed them and adapt them. This is all, this is an evolution. This is interference by human beings. I mean, when you look at a St. Bernard and a yeah. And the scientists can go back and say for sure they both came 15,000 years ago from the Siberian wolf. It shows you just how quirky human beings can be. Right. And, and it is the only domesticated species on Earth that's been that vastly and diversely homogenized by people. Yeah, we've, we've done it with corn, we've done it, done it with tomatoes. Yeah, certainly there are lots of cat
bigger camera. So, I know you might cut off, but overnight, there will upload the wide screen version of Best of Breed. Not glory. Chairs over there making against the wall. You want to grab a chair? Don't worry, we'll be able to see the side movement when she does the individual on the dogs. Not too worried. This is our first best of breed dog. If I can find best of breed in here. That was Grand Champion. Well, by catalog order, that should have been Grand Champion. Wind Wars, Diamonds, Diamonds and Hearts, although that could be a bitch. I'm not going to be able to read out of this catalog because she's got the bitches outside. Then I'm going to confuse everybody. But the catalog is posted on my Facebook page. Feel free to print it out and follow along. I can't read this fine print. So it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. Megan, if you can tell me the armband numbers on these dogs, then I can read their names. Can you get the armband number? This one's 21. Okay, armband number 21. Grand Champion Fairmont and Speedways. I shot the sheriff. Breeder Molly and Col uh, Mo uh, Molly Tasco by Grand Champion Speedways, American Outlaw, CD, RAE, and Grand Champion Ramble Woods Ultraviolet. Owners, Lorena Clark and Molly Tesco. Yeah, I can do it by the armbands. Okay, and what armband number is this? 39. This is dog number 39, Grand Champion Fairmont. Listen to me. 
one. Listen to me, Act One. V H M A. Breeder owner, which is Molly and Colin Tesco. Breeders owners. This is dog number 39. Do you see the do you see the lady in green and then the gentleman in the blue jacket? Go, go give me his armband number. Must have been a move up. Me hunt around for okay. The first specials dog that we saw in the ring was a move up. So the dog finished earlier this year, and he is Grand Champion Two, Cerise Bonanza. Hold on. Nope. I beg your. He wasn't wasn't a move up. I needed to go back a page where Best of Breed started in the catalog. You know, I'm new at this, everybody. I don't know how to read a catalog. Actually, I can't see the words on the catalog. So the first specials dog we went over was number 19, Grand Champion Cerise Bonanza. Breeder owner, of course, Dottie Cherry, handled by Howard Huber, by Grand Champion Cerise Blindside, and Grand Champion Dixieland Duchess. And the owners of that dog are Dottie Cherry, Howard Huber, and Kendra Hoot. Kendra Huber, and I know for a fact that that is Kendra's house pet and bed dog. So that dog's got a wonderful life. So did Connor in the same way. Connor was a house pet the entire time Howard Huber had him at his house. Kendra was their assistant at the time, and Kendra slept with, How with Connor every single night. And then when they were on the road and Dottie was flying all over the country with them, Connor went to the hotel room every single night with Dottie and slept on her bed. So these house pets that are special live in the lap of luxury with Howard and Heidi and that's why he's always that's why he's always had my dogs. What's the armband number on this? Uh, 51. 51. Grand Champion Will Orion Crown Royal Just Teasing. CGC, FDC, TKN. Breeder Mary Osborne, I Johnson, E Brookshire, and R Brookshire. Okay, takes a whole community to breed this dog. And JB Kettleston by Champion Random Got T at Crown Royal. That was the sire and the dam was champion Will Orion's cleared for takeoff. I probably got that in reverse, but that's okay. This catalog is so enormous that the print on this has to be like 0.4. You know, I mean, I need a magnifying glass. This is really the owner on this dog is Laura Edwards and Mary Osborne. The next one, armband number 61, best to breed, grand champion, Mile Hill Heart and Soul, breeder, Jarbara Panera, that's got to, that's got to, it's a misprint, we know it's Barbara, Barbara Panera, for God's sake, by Oten's Dawn of the Dude, and grand champion, Mile Highs, a moving star, Ava, CGC. Owners are Barb, Robert, Rob, Bob, and Bob and Lisa Nito, and Amanda Zeller. Go team! Is this not the pretty black and white dog? 
that the owner handling the dog finished at specialties two, three years ago, and it sure is. I know that dog's headpiece. I know I judged the sweepstakes here three or four years ago, and completely unknowing, I put up this dog and its litter sister for best in sweeps and best of opposite in sweeps. A lovely dog, and Amanda does a beautiful job with it. Amanda's best known um, with her very fancy pet grooming shop here in the region, and she has won the Barclay Grooming Olympics. And if we go back in time, the very first Groom Olympics that Barkley put on, I was the best in show winner. I won their very first one. And I went back the next year and got best expert groomer. And then I didn't go back. That was enough. I was done. Besides, they're not going to continue to give the same person the award. Danny, can you bring him around for one last look? Yeah, bring him around for just one last look. We got all day. What the heck? This is our dog entry, our male entry for best of breed champions at the Susquehanna Valley English Springer Spaniel Specialty. This is our Saturday specialty. Now our bitches are going to come in, and if I can have my helpers stay here and read armband, let, armband numbers, then I can let everybody know who's in the ring. Otherwise, I can't make out the word dog and bitch and rifle through all this. I'm just asking too much of an old lady. Okay, armband number. Six. Okay, for those who have printed out the catalog, we are at dog number six, grand champion, Winmore Diamonds and Hearts. Breeder, Billy Kerfoot and Dr. Aaron Kerf Kerfoot by grand champion, Sarge's Wine Knot, W-I-N-E. Grand Champion, Winmore, Denim and Diamonds. This is a bitch. The owners are Kenneth Shipman and Dr. Aaron Kerfoot. Our pride and joy junior handler that grew up to be an amazing star. And again, for those of you who are just watching, our breed standard as far as markings, you keep seeing these cookie cutter designs like the dog on the table. But this bitch is absolutely lovely that you see here with the open white markings. In the breed standard, all markings should be judged equally and the same. So you could have a very field looking Springer with all white down its back and just a couple splatches of liver or black. But all markings should be judged equally, so says our breed standard. But it was Julie Gassow, who before Dick Cooper, this is before Dick Cooper started handling dogs for her, Julie handled her own specials dogs and she got tired of always going second place to the Irish Setter. Dog shows were outdoors back then. There was not an indoor dog show anywhere in North America. These were all outdoors at fairgrounds. And the sunlight would hit those Irish Setters and the, 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 the intensity of the red under the sun and the Irish Setter would always win. 
and she got tired of it. So she deliberately set up her breeding program in such a way that she created the markings that we have here today. That's the solid saddle with the perfect white shawl around. And generally speaking, the full face mask and blaze. More times than not, if you see a quote unquote missed marking dog, a dog with different kinds of markings in the ring, if you look, it's because the breeder kept that dog. The breeders get tired of these cookie cutter colors. We really do. And besides that, if we're breeders, we're not looking at color or markings, we're not. We're looking to keep the best one. And if it has a solid liver leg in the front or mustache on the face, we don't care. And sometimes it's more fun to keep those. Why not? What's the armband number on this? I didn't see hers. The last one was 20. Okay, the dog that we were just looking at was Grand Champion uh, Woolburn's Pandemonium. Breeder Deborah Malpe Evans by Champion Telltale Rigel and Grand Champion Telltale American Wahine. That's kind of fish. The owner is Jeannie Kerwin and Deb Malpe Evans in the country now in the top 10. And she was our best of opposite winner yesterday at our Friday specialty. And to go back a little bit in time, last year, the Susquehanna Valley had their specialty weekend in conjunction with Keystone at the Lebanon Fairgrounds in April, because this cluster was closed. And um, Danny was already on the panel for both sets of shows, so here we are. But anyway, um, I'm not saying this loud enough, Danny can't hear it. Um, that bitch was winner's bitch and finished, finished her um, championship last year at that specialty under Breeder Judge. Most of our top 10, most of our top special springers all finish at specialty majors. You never see these dogs anywhere unless it's a specialty. These breeders, I mean, Mary drove 12 hours to get here and she had one dog to enter. What's the armband number? This is uh, entry number 28, Grand Champion Gold, Crown Royals, Diretta. Martinani, uh, M-A-R-T-E-A-N-I. Then we have FDC, comma, N-A, comma, N-A-J, comma, N-F. Breeder Owner, J and M Winkler by Grand Champion Crown Royals Tea Caddy. Wow, we still have Tea Caddy puppies on the ground. B-N-C-D-R-A-A-J-P. Tea Caddy was runner-up English Springer Spaniel. Um, in 2007 to Connor, um, my dog champion, Cerise K&D, Return of the King. So T. Caddy and Connor were two greats. Grand champion, Crown Royals, Little Brown Teapot. How cute. And the owner is Mary Osborne. What's the armband number here? It's 30 something. I haven't seen it yet. Well, here, it's, it's Katie's dog, so I can see it and it's a bitch okay we've got it should be number 30 yeah it looks like it is. great grand champion bronze sweet peas midsummer night's magic cgc comma b c a t breeder doctor katie bremster b-r-e-m-s-e-r got asked katie how to pronounce her last name by grand champion Dallins, he's in love with Disney. That beautiful black and white dog on the West Coast that won our national. And Sweet Peas, fire starter. And the, the owner is, of course, Katie and Laureen Camisi. Go team, Katie and Laureen. This is number 36. Grand Champion Silver, all time doing it Disney style. Okay, this Disney dog from the West Coast is getting his sperm shipped all over the country. CGC, breeder Carol Hamilton and, and Lisa Fong, of course, Lisa Fong. Okay, so um, grand champion Dallins, he's in love with Disney. And grand champion all times, show arena CGC, bitch. And oh my God, this is Splash. 
I'm sitting here reading this, realizing this is my own dog. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> and, and, I, I, I said Disney well, style, but wait a second. Wait, I, wait. I mean, I'm just reading the catalog and not even mentally. Anyway, this is, right, uh, breeder owner Carol Hamilton, but I was a very proud owner of her um, when we bred the litter. So Car Carol Hamilton, Deb Kirk, and Neil Henderson, we all owned Splash for her most recent litter that everybody enjoyed, the daily blogs on my Facebook page, which will be turned into a whole section on dog tricks of the trade on YouTube, on whelping and raising litters. And this is my dog in the ring. How exciting for me. That's Splishy Splash, my adopted daughter. I'm sorry, I gotta clap for my dog. I gotta clap for my dog. See you later. Have it be a good home. I finally dug my my jumps out of the shed. I said, this is so silly to have them be in the shed and not being used. I'm going to go back to the house to sleep. Go, go, and, go, go. And wake me up if anything important happens. Well, it, what I will, be, I will be coming home. That's what's going That's to be important. important. That will wake right, me up. Right, And we can catch you up on whatever TV shows. The Witcher. Oh, yes. Oh, this season of The Witcher knocked it out of the park. Oh. Knocked it out of the park. This is, this, this is one of the best seasons of any TV show that I've been engaged with ever. It just knocked it out of the park. Okay, give, give me a kiss. Mm. Um, can you shave before I get home? <laughs> I will shave at some point. Yeah, you better shave at some point. <laughs> okay, this is Lisa's bitch. Let me see if I can find it. It's uh, bitch number 54. Chivalry's Miss Popularity. Breeder, of course, is Lisa Knight. By Grand Champion Akoe. Away we go. And Chivalry's Stuck Like Glue. Owner is Jack West. Jack West Bev Bevlin and Lamond West Bevlin and Lisa Knight. There you go, Jack and Lamond. You get to see your your pretty bitch in the ring. Lisa always comes to our specialty. She always brings the nicest dogs. I'm so grateful for these breeders bringing these beautiful dogs to our specialty for everyone to enjoy. And there we go. Now we're going to bring in our, our veteran dog winner and our winner's dog and our winner's bitch. The veteran dog, of course, was um, Timmy, grand champion Cerise Blindside. We all know Timmy. Can you give me the armband number of 23? Hold on. Hold on. Let, give me a second. Okay. Our winner's dog was number 23. And where the heck is 23? Uh, 23 for the Bread by Exhibitor class. Sweet Peas, put a spell on you. Breeder, doctor. Oh, this is Katie's dog. Kate, Katie and Lorene Camisi. There we go. And winner's bitch, looking lovely, handled by Kelly. I can't, I don't have an armband. I can't. It was, maybe Maybe you can go back and give me your armband. She's got it written on, the one in blue? Yeah, with the white sweater. I will find out the information on the winner's bitch. Looks like it came from one of the puppy classes. And here are the dogs that were judged earlier today in Best of Breed. Followed by the bitches. And then followed by our veteran dog, our winner's dog, and our winner's bitch. The winner's dog and the winner's bitch mean just that. They, of, all the, of, all the, of all the dogs that were not champions, the non-champion entries, the winner. The, the winner, go over and look on her shirt. The, the, I think it's 22, I can't, just it's go, handwritten. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Sure. All right. Well, like I will look. Anyway, the, the winner's dog was the best non-champion male, in the judge's opinion, and they got awarded championship points. And the winner's bitch was the winner of all the bitches, 
and she got championship points. And because of that, they are eligible to compete for best of breed. And yes, it does happen. There are occasions where the winner's dog or the winner's bitch, not yet champions, will go best of breed. So they are in here for that competition. They also have a private competition between each other for what's called best of winners. So whichever one is best of winners gets awarded the higher sets of points. So let's say the dog goes best of winners and the bitch had a four point major, the dog had a three point major, then the dog would also be sharing the four point major. So that is best of winners. I'm gonna take this camera around so I can see a little bit more happening in the center of the ring. I know, okay, okay. Thank you for letting me know about this. I appreciate it. <laughs> Get me a pug. I will. <laughs> I miss, I need my pug fix at the Grimmy shop. Ring steward? The best to breed dog was the Cerise dog. The best of winners was the winner's bitch. Best of opposite was Mary Osborne. And I will post the results for select dog, select bitch. We had two awards of merit. We also have um, best owner handler today. Is it best owner handler or best bred by today? Best owner handler competition, and that person. Kathy, I might need him. That person will go into the groups tonight. and I will post the results for Select Dog, Select Bitch. We had two awards of merit. We also have um, Best Owner Handler today. Is it Best Owner Handler or Best Bred By today? Best Owner Handler competition, and that person- Kathy, I might need him. That person will go into the groups tonight, up at the big Oots Arena. this over so people can see some of the action. Best Owner Handler Competition as our winners walk out of the ring.
Number 36 was select. Award of Merit was 39, and Award of Merit was 15. Oh, so that means Splishy Splash. My doggy won a prize, Splishy Splash. Yay, that means we got Grand Championship points. I'm gonna go say hi to Splishy Splash, and I'm gonna let the camera work its magic without me. You guys don't mind while I go. As my beer spills all over the ground, that's probably not great. Did my beer spill? Let's spill. You know what? This was... Watch out guys. It's not an earthquake. We aren't in Japan. I just needed to get this pre-positioned. Woohoo! And Molly is our best owner handler. Feathers? Good girl. Yeah, good girl. There's the bird. Yeah, good girl. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Annie. Bye-bye, Annie.